Dobre opoledne, moi canale. Good afternoon, my channel. Sunday afternoon, slightly cloudy today. Looks like it's gonna be threatening rain again. We're gonna get in our last bike ride of the week here. Uh, we've got uh, a little trip over to the Costco plan for today. I got my cash back rewards from my Costco Visa card. I'm gonna pick up uh, $286.35. Now, uh, you could just make a purchase and apply it toward a purchase, but uh, not gonna be taking uh, any bulk items home. It's a little difficult to carry stuff on the bike in that quantity, but uh, should have a good ride here and uh, enjoy the uh, last sunny day here of uh, sunny Southern California before we have another half a week of uh, rain. Okay, we're off on another exciting Sunday ride. Let's head to Costco and Maria Del Rey. Vamos. Sync up the music from Tommy G from the Slant TV crew. Don't bite me. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me again. And we have arrived at Costco. It's only uh, about one and three quarter miles here from Denmark Park. Costco Wholesale. I already had lunch today, so otherwise I would stop and get myself a slice of the uh, Costco pizza here. It's absolutely delicious and you can't beat the price. It's $2. Uh-oh. Well, food court's closed anyhow. Looks like I wouldn't be able to get the pizza anyhow. Good thing I ate at home. Peanut butter and jelly and barbecue potato chips. Looks like they're doing a little construction. Slice of pizza at $1.99. Cheese and pepperoni only. No more combo. Where's the combo? That's my favorite. How you guys doing? Ready? Little painting? Tempura? Yeah. No, we're doing the floor. You're doing the flooring? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I ate lunch. I was gonna have pizza, but I ate at home. Oh, no, Otherwise, yeah. I would have got nothing. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, it'll be open. It'll be open tomorrow. 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 Manana, where's the combo pizza? Remember uh, combo? There's nothing in there. No, no. They used to have combo. Now it's cheese, oh, a pepperoni. Know. They used to have combo. Yeah. Sausage, cebolla, pepper. Uh, they, they got rid of that. They got rid of that. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Okay, so looks like they're doing a little construction. It smells like paint and flooring. Ugh, bad chemical smell. Okay, into Costco we go. I don't know if they like the cameras. I have to keep this on the DL. Let's go. 
I want to redeem my certificate. Do I do that at the desk up there? Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. Hello. We have infiltrated Costco. New cars. Costco Auto Program. Tire shop. Eyeglass center. Costco is jam. Completely jam today on the uh, Sunday here. That's what happens on a Sunday. But luckily we know the trick. You go up to the customer service desk here for the rewards refund. Okay, so I got my Costco rewards. $286.35. Not bad. Now let's go figure out uh, what we might want to buy. Or maybe we'll save it up for the next bicycle adventure. Ozar, Spatni, Cherny Kluk, checking out Mikolo. Mileage 4.95, 67 degrees Fahrenheit, 19 degrees Celsius. All right, let's keep going, baby. Marina Del Rey Middle School. Ciao, ciao. Thirteen point five miles. I made it back. Good ride. All right. Good Sunday afternoon ride. Now it's time to take on a little special project here. Since it's going to be raining all week, uh, I got to get my classic car out of the garage and warmed up. I haven't taken it for a drive because it's been raining so much. And 
we need to make ourselves a little ethanol free fuel ethanol free without the ethanol all gas in california contains 10 percent ethanol that's really bad for old cars especially those with the old carburetors with the rubber and the lines that aren't used to that ethanol so instead of paying uh 100 for five gallons of race fuel that's 20 dollars a gallon i'll show you a quick easy way to take the ethanol out of your gas by just using a little bit of water stay tuned ciao ciao for now okay so we're at the local gas station here sinclair and uh, premium gas is 459.9 a gallon we're going to start with the premium gas here because uh, all this gas contains 10 percent ethanol unless of course you're buying the uh, e85 gas which is almost all ethanol you don't even want to mess around with that we're going to start with this one it's the 91 octane because when you uh, remove the ethanol from the gas all gas is uh, hydrophilic means uh, the ethanol is going to be attracted to water so we're going to add some water to the gas and uh, then we're going to be able to easily extract it so the ethanol will be attracted to the water the water will separate from the gas and we will uh, have a leftover a pure product then at that point so uh, do you know if they have uh, ethanol content yeah they have ethanol right here in this song right here this is the uh, e85 how, how much do they that's 269 a gallon uh -huh. 269 a gallon right there really yeah, oh. yeah there you go so if you got a car that runs e85 you can uh, you can get the cheaper but, but gas no, normal ga cars would be damaged right? it would be very damaged with that all that ethanol will eat up all your rubber lines your oh, gaskets okay, okay. it won't be good for your car the car's not tuned to run on that so which cars uh, run on this you got to get a special car called flex fuel vehicle uh -huh. So are they more expensive or? Yeah, a little bit more expensive, uh -huh. but you get, uh, you know, you're getting cheaper gas, you're saving uh, a couple okay. of dollars a gallon. But I wonder even in this one, some... That's 10% ethanol. Yeah, they So you're getting 10% ethanol. That's 10% corn juice you're putting in there. Uh-huh. But that, that doesn't do much good for your engine, right? It's not very good. It doesn't burn uh, as well, but uh, uh -huh. supposedly the modern engines are designed for it. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking, uh, I'm going to be taking uh, four gallons out and I'm going to remove the ethanol at home to put in my older car. How do, you, how do you do it? Uh, you have to take uh, water uh -huh. and then you put the uh, water into the gas and because ethanol is hydrophilic, it's attracted to water, uh -huh. the ethanol will grab the water and then it'll sink to the bottom and you'll see the separation really? between the... Oh, yeah. okay. Then you have to okay, remove the uh, thing. It's a little bit of a process. Yeah, a bit of a hassle, right? To... Or you can buy race gas at $20 a gallon. Uh -huh. Race gas will have ethanol free, but that's $20 a gallon. Uh -huh. I'm not spending $20 a gallon. No, no, no. I'll spend 4 and spend a little process. I remember uh, there used to be $2 average on the U.S. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks thanks a lot, Brandon. Let's go, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> All right, my friend. Okay. You have a good one. All right, let's fill up this gas here. We got customers lined up behind us. Just got four gallons of premium gas, 91 octane, $18.40 total. Grab my receipt. Of course, there's a line of cars behind me here. So we're gonna throw this into the old car and drive it home, and then I'll show you the rest of the way to make the uh, separation of the ethanol. I got home just in time from the gas station. Started the rain again. So now we're in the garage doing our little experiment here. Got four gallons of premium fuel in my five gallon jerry can. I got a five gallon uh, plastic beverage jar, better known as a bitrolero. For those of you who love the uh, Mexican agua frescas, that's what you're used to seeing that. Uh, we're gonna make our own little uh, horchata, right? <laughs> For the car. That's gonna be five gallons maximum in that container, but we're only gonna put uh, four gallons of gas and then we're going to put one liter of water and we're going to add a couple drops of the uh, green food dye coloring so we can more easily see the water which will then be green from the gasoline which will have a uh, pale yellowish tint to it so uh, i'm going to go ahead and uh, pour the gas into our vitrolero and then add the water and then we give it a good shake and then we let it settle for uh, 24 hours and then we come back out and uh, Right here with the spigot, I just drain off all the color food dyed water out and I'm left with about, uh, you should be left with about uh, 3.6 uh, gallons of gasoline. 
10% uh, of your gas is the ethanol that's going to be removed. Uh, you also got to deduct one extra liter of the water. And I usually drain off a little bit more just because at the bottom I know it's still uh, kind of half-half. So we'll end up with about three and a half gallons of pure gasoline. Not bad, three and a half pure gallons of uh, three and a half gallons of pure gasoline uh, for the price of just four gallons of premium gasoline. Much better than twenty dollars per gallon for race gas. All right, just poured the uh, four gallons into the bitrolero. As you can see, the motor fuel's got a uh, yellowish tint to it but the uh, ethanol is uh, pretty well blended into the gas. So in order to separate it, we're gonna take the uh, water here. So we're using basically a quarter liter of water per gallon. So four gallons, one liter of water. We'll take the green food dye, which I bought at the 99 cent store. There you go. Green food dye for happy St. Patrick's Day. A little early St. Patrick's Day. We're turning the Danny Slant channel into the Danny Slancha channel. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put in a couple drops of the old green dye here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's plenty, plenty of green dye. And this will just make it so much easier to see the separation. Okay, so we now have a dark, greenish, almost blackish looking water. And we're gonna take that. And now we are going to, we're gonna pour that right into the, uh, into the gas. Is already just sank to the bottom there and now you can start to see the cloudiness in there you can see that ethanol in the gas it's floating around so the uh, ethanol which I think is C6 or C3H6 so three parts carbon eight parts uh, hydrogen and uh, one part oxygen is going to adhere to H2O two parts hydrogen one part oxygen it'll grab it oh yeah you can see the reaction right there See the bubbles coming up? Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna put the lid on the bitrolero and give it a little shake, and then we'll just let it sit for 24 hours. Of course, uh, be careful when you're pouring your fuel. Of course, uh, this four gallons is pretty heavy. You're talking about eight pounds a gallon. So 32 pounds, I poured and then sploosh, made a little splash over here. It'll end up leaving the uh, windows open here in the garage, get some ventilation here to get this gas smell out of here <laughs> gotta be careful here and before you pour i always uh, touch the side of the car here the metal ground myself you don't want any static electricity all right the lid of the bitrolero and shake it up So this is the 1979 VOM AMC Gremlin X with a straight six cylinder 258 engine, the same one they put in the Jeeps. Uh, we got the old school. We got the club. Take the club off here. Okay, car hasn't been started in a month. Gonna pump the gas pedal five times to fill the bowl. One, two, three four, five. Okay, it's a single barrel Carter BBD carburetor. And let's see. Uh... <laughs> it's 
starts right up. Look at that. And look who we have here. It's Senor Shotek. Hola. Me llamo Senor Shotek. Senor Shotek? What are you doing? I'm keeping an eye on your car. You're watching the coche? See. Si. What are you eating out here in the garage? All the crickets. I'm eating the crickets. I am the gremlin. And that's why we named you Senor Shotek. Senor, because you are from Mexico, and Shotek, that's Czech for gremlin. You are Senior Shotek. See. Si. Okay, Shotek. Let's back her up, take her into the alley. Straight six, 258. Okay. So we're at about 184. Electric fan has turned on. Been